Hi everyone, my name is Talia and I'll be talking about episode 17 and 18 of Swear Online season 2 and episode 18 starts with a new arc so um, I'll just give you my thoughts of like the mini arc before that and that ends on episode 17 and to be honest I didn't really like the mini arc, it didn't interest me that much. It was cool to see them fight together though, that was interesting but I don't know, I, I feel like it shouldn't have been in here for some reason because it was very short I guess it was entertaining but I don't know it just didn't really need it I guess I didn't overly enjoy it like Gun Gale Online that one was just very exciting and all that stuff and this one didn't really have much excitement for me so it was just fun to see other characters back and see them fight together and I do like that they used like the whole thing with like Thor and like uh, the, the hammer and Excalibur and all that stuff because I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff when it comes to like history stuff so I did like that and the final battle was cool to see as well but that is kind of it and to be honest I kind of thought that Klein was kind of annoying in this mini arc because because of that mini arc I liked him a bit less than before because he's he just comes over like he's a bit thirsty for women and he just wanted to be with that girl but he can't and all that stuff and he tried to save the day the whole time which was kind of funny sometimes but for me it started to be annoying then so I was kind of glad that this arc mini arc ended so overly my thoughts I wasn't too impressed by it I mean it was fun to watch but it wasn't as exciting as the other stuff but now we have episode 18 which is like a new arc it's like mother's rosaria's arc or something and i don't know anything about it but this is the arc that everyone talked to me about that is about asuna and that was pretty clear in the first episode of that new arc and it was pretty interesting as well to see more of asuna's past and like her family or her parents forcing her to marry someone and it was kind of sad to see to be honest because we had the whole thing in alfenheim that happened with her and that creepy weird guy that no one liked <laughs> and hated to death and then we have this that we see why Asuna didn't want to go back home when she was in uh, Einkraut so yeah that happened so but it was, it's cool that we see some stuff about the past uh, for uh, Asuna I'm expecting to see more of that as well since it's going to be about her and I can't wait for her to fight that second guy because that I am looking forward to that because I think that will be very exciting in a way and she will have to be stronger than Kirito because this second guy is stronger than Kirito because he is faster and they said at the end of the episode that he would have gotten like the dual sorting fighting thing um, <laughs> if he wasn't for online but he wasn't so he is faster than Kirito and he has this special move like the original sword skill and it has like 11 combos or something and it's like very powerful and that is why he is fighting other people to give it to the person who actually defeats him. But Kirito talked to him very briefly while they were fighting but no one knows what they said. Still a big mystery for now because it's only the first episode of that new arc. But for me it's really interesting already and I did like the part where they kind of went back in time. They bought the cabin again, they fought till then. I really liked how Kirito and Asuna were fighting together again. It was with the group but it was more like Kirito and Asuna together. And uh, like, I, I really liked that. I really enjoyed those scenes when they were fighting together. Although it was very short I did enjoy it and it just was like nostalgia to like Einkrat to like the beginning. I just want to know like how Kirito will react as well if Asuna is going to fight him and if she will tell him his plan and all that stuff and how it is with like the parents of uh, Asuna and how they feel towards Kirito since they clearly want her to marry probably someone else who is really rich and has good business going on and all that stuff. That's probably 
what her kind of family is because they are rich so and the others were teasing her about that as well and you could clearly see that she didn't like that and that she felt uncomfortable just because she is rich and <laughs> actually Kirito before they bought it Kirito gave her the eye like yeah I was like oh god everyone knows what happened and they're like um fine but that was that was funny I did enjoy that scene I like the, the little funny scenes in this episode and also just Kirito and Asuna together like I'm really glad that they are focusing on Asuna because she really needs it in this series because not too much people like her. Anyways, for the 18th episode, I liked that a lot better than episode 17 and I'm glad that they are going this way for like the last six episodes. I'm guessing it's gonna be 24 episodes again, so I'm glad that they're going with this arc now. Although I don't know much about the arc, but it, it kind of looks more promising than that mini arc already with that first episode so just leave your thoughts in the comments what you think about it what do you think of that mini arc that they showed and what do you think about this one that will focus on asuna more so that is it for this review and i will be back next week with another review because i want to do it weekly again because right now it's like the end of one arc and the beginning of a new one and I like to keep that separate like I said leave your thoughts in the comments and if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up and you can go like my Facebook page as well if you want to that will be in the description below and my Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff to talk to me you can always add me on there or just chat and yeah that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon bye